You're such an asshole! Hi guys, my name is Matthew Tran and I have a YouTube channel called Engineer Truth and today I'm gonna be your guest asshole consultant. So, Andy writes, Hey Aaron, I'm a big fan of yours. I'm emailing you to ask for an opinion. Right now, I'm a sophomore at the University of Michigan College of Engineering, majoring in computer science and data science. This path is nice because I'm able to get two degrees and I'm also to be able to become a certified engineer. My question is, everyone who talks about computer science and data science talks about globalization and Indian workers taking our American tech jobs. What is the level of concern I should have for this? I started working in chemical engineering, however, I didn't enjoy it as uh, much as I do working with computer and technology. How worried should I be about finding a good paying job with my current school path? I should mention I have a, about a 3.2 GPA, pretty average for an engineering college, especially U of M. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for your time. Andy, short answer is you don't have to be worried at all. Now, yes, there is globalization, and you know what? I'll let you know, like, look, go to Upwork.com. Upwork is a place where freelancers can look for work and clients could look for freelancers. Now, when you look at the low skill level tech jobs, like basic HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, and even the older languages and software, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of outsourcing uh, to India, and they're gonna only charge like $10 an hour. But when you look at the more recent frameworks, more recent technology like Angular, React, on Upwork, you're only gonna see mostly Americans actually and they're gonna be charging a lot for their services. Now, is, it, is there ever gonna be a point where they're gonna catch up? They are eventually gonna catch up but it's gonna be really slow because to get to a high level in you know, data science or Angular, you know what, in all honesty, it's extremely hard to get to a high level in those skills by just learning online. Um, that's why there's coding boot camps. Coding boot camps are a big deal. But also, the second reason, the second piece of proof uh, to you is if you look up the average salary for data scientists, what is it? It's 120,000. What's your uh, salary for Angular or React developer? It's gonna be around 120,000 also. Why are companies willing to spend so much money on these professionals? Well, because these professionals aren't gonna do it for anything less. Also, there's a huge benefit to having someone in-house to do uh, a role because some of these softwares are so in-depth that you just want someone who is gonna be there every day. You don't want someone who is on some foreign country to do this kind of work. So, long answer, no, you don't have to worry. I actually recommend you to do uh, computer science and data science over chemical engineering, it's gonna be much easier for you to get a job. Uh, you're gonna have a higher salary cap. You know, you're gonna, salary is like unlimited for, for this industry, whereas like with chemical engineering, it caps out much earlier. You're gonna have a much for, uh, wider variety of industries you could work for. And also chemical engineering is a dec declining industry, steadily declining with the petroleum industry. Computer science and data science, growing, skyrocketing right now. And that's all I gotta say. Uh, hope that answer helps you. Aaron, thank you for letting me be a guest on your channel. And if you guys wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it is Engineer Truth on YouTube also. I'll see you guys next time. If there is a next time, bye.